Lebanon is considered one of the richest Mediterranean countries with water resources. It has 40 rivers and substantial quantity of groundwater. However, only 17% of available water is exploited due to shortage in storage facilities and conveyance networks. In contrast, Lebanon economy suffers from shortage of water supply, despite its abundance. Since only 30% of arable lands are provided with irrigation networks, the result is a limited and seasonal agricultural economy and a limited supply of potable water, mostly dependent on wells. The only solution is the establishment of water conveyance networks and storage facilities for irrigation and potable water. However, the construction of such large infrastructure projects requires huge investments, sophisticated design, and very advanced and complicated construction technologies that challenge Lebanon's severe topographic variations and steep gradient, as well as severe climactic conditions. Karan Lake, located in the western Bikal region, is considered the largest artificial lake in Lebanon. The lake, which was completed in 1965 downstream of the Litani River, 800 meters above sea level and with a storage capacity of 220 million cubic meters. Most of the water, which has not been exploited for irrigation, is left for evaporation and ultimately drains to the sea. The project will convey 50% of the lake water, 110 million cubic meters per year, through a controlled water conveyance system, a challenge in which man and nature unite together for a greener future. Project name, Conveyor 800. Objective, supply the Bika region and southern Lebanon with water for irrigation, power generation, as well as potable water to communities for domestic use. Funding, the Lebanese state, 16% in cooperation with the Arab Fund, 48%, and the Kuwaiti Fund for Economic Development, 36%, employer, the Council for Development and Reconstruction. Contractor Mohammed Abdomolson Al Kharafi and Sons Joint Venture. Engineer C800 Consultants Joint Venture. La Mer Dar Al Handasa Gulf. Initial contract price $330 million. Duration five years. Mohammed Abdulmulsan Al Khrafi and Sons Mac is a privately owned Kuwaiti group with diverse interests and activities worldwide. Established in Kuwait as a trading company more than 100 years ago, it has since developed into a large multinational company. Mac has increased its size and status as Grade A international contractor, and its successful foreign ventures have led to the establishment of permanent branches subsidiaries in the following countries.
The C-800 project consists of a hydropower plant, a series of tunnels, double and single water conveying pipes, siphons, canals and pump stations. Altogether, they transfer water by gravity for about 103 kilometers into terminal storage reservoirs of a total capacity of 160,000 cubic meters. The system is equipped with the most advanced technologies for water regulation and control, using motorized gates and valves. Moreover, an advanced instrumentation and control system, I and C, is to provide controlling, monitoring and data recording of the water flow by means of local PLC substations at every control structure and a central station provided with the supervisory control and data acquisition system, SCADA. Convey water for 103 kilometers run with maximum flow of 8.2 cubic meters per second and store around 160,000 cubic meters of water irrigating. 14,700 hectares of agricultural lands located between altitudes of 800 and 400 meters going through Lebanon mountains, valleys, villages and deep gorges. Serving 76 villages along the conveyor line with potable water generating sustainable electric power connected to the national grid. We are talking here about a mega project known as the Dream. In fact, it is a dream as a dream, 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 as a dream. And I think that everyone is aware of the dream of the dream. So what about the details of execution? The project starts by 160 meter long F2 tunnel, a branch of the old established Markaba tunnel and links to the headwork structure with a surge shaft in between to protect against any water surge that may occur as a reflux of the valve's closure at the headworks. The surge shaft, 8 meters in diameter and 50 meters deep, topped by surge tank, 16 meters in diameter and 15 meters in height. The hedgework structure, located at the end of the F2 tunnel, is a regulatory structure of the flow. It consists of the administrative, three-story service annex building, which includes facilities to remotely control all the project operations. The headwork structure also includes the machine hall, where the regulating valves, the turbines, and the generators are housed to generate 4.72 megawatt of electricity. The contractor has implemented value engineering and was able to redesign the power plant to increase the generated power capacity from 1.7 megawatt to 4.72 megawatt and to ensure power generation at different water flow rates, which will ultimately reduce the payback period of the investment. After the water leaves the machine hall, it flows into large basins for settling before moving steadily into the LRC siphon. The selection of the means of conveyance was optimized according to the topographic profiles, ensuring the least disturbance to dwellers. The contractor had to provide engineering expertise, equipment, suppliers, and subcontractors to execute such wide spectrum of structures in terms of type, size. The amount of resources deployed for the project execution is about 350 workers daily, from different trades and backgrounds, and about 200 pieces of equipment. A large pool of resources is prudently planned and coordinated to efficiently execute the works. More than 30 engineers, other than specialists hired for certain jobs. Siphons and inverted siphons were built at distinct locations on the line to ensure water conveyance across the deep valleys and gorges that lay on the project's alignment. One of those siphons, the deepest and steepest, is aimed to transport water from the headworks at the right bank of the Litani River to Yormor Tunnel at the left bank across the deep Litani Gorge. The inverted siphon, a U-shaped structure, consists of a drop shaft at the right bank, 
leading to a horizontal tunnel followed by a steel water pipe mounted on a steel bridge. Then another tunnel at the left bank and ending with another blind shaft to deliver the water to the Jormor tunnel. The contractor had not only designed the steel bridge of 24 meters length, which is supported at its two extremities across the river, but also to devise the method of erecting and installing the bridge, which weighs 43 tons and was assembled aside and moved by a crane to its final destination. This bridge carries a steel pipe of diameter 2.2 meters. Jormor Tunnel was excavated under Jormor Village by the drill and blast method. The new access roads to reach the tunnel portals had to be constructed in order to start tunnel excavation. seven-day-a-week round-the-clock operations with highly controlled blasting techniques that has ensured the surface dwellers and properties no effects. The result is no complaint was filed. Yurmor Tunnel Characteristics Length 5.5 kilometers Depth from ground level between 30 and 179 meters Diameter 2.6 meters Lining shape type Inverted D-shape, roll. Convey water from LRC siphon to Kilia Canal. The new Austrian tunneling method, NATM, for excavation and support of the tunnel was implemented. It adopts the principle of design as you go, which needs the full-time presence of qualified experienced engineers. The tunnel excavation has encountered several unforeseen geological conditions, for example, a huge cave was discovered. The contractor's experience, supported by the engineer consultancy, has adopted solutions to all encountered cavities. The contractor has deployed experts from all around the world. Material and plants procurements were no different. Experts, materials, plants, equipment, and subcontractors were procured from Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Switzerland, France, Germany, China, India, Turkey, Austria, Syria, Italy, USA, and Canada. MAC has provided and coordinated to create an environment of collaboration to achieve the project goals using international expertise in one dream called the C-800 project. The main contractor has enriched the project by applying value engineering and redesigning many structures to increase the return on investment for the end user. resources برفع الجودة والتقنية للسبلايرز وللمقاولين اللبنانيين وده طبعا دور المقاول الرئيسي في تقديم الدعم والحلول والمساندة لتنفيذ العمل بهذه الجودة So from your more tunnel the water is conveyed directly through the intake structure of Kilia Canal. The canal length is 6.2 kilometers, where only around one kilometer of it is covered for different reasons. Interconnecting that canal are three siphons of twin steel pipes of 2 meter diameter with a total length of 1.5 kilometers which are constructed to cross deep valleys. Cross deep valleys. The canal includes nine bridges for pedestrians and vehicles, two regulating structures, two stations for particle separation and algae removal. The canal concrete is executed using movable formwork to accelerate the casting of walls.
After Kilia Canal, the water flows by gravity through several pipelines. Optimizing the cost per linear meter resulted in a designated diameter, pressure, and material for each segment of the pipeline. 1. GRP, 62 kilometers. 2. Steel pipes, 38 kilometers. 3. Ductile iron, 11 kilometers. The main conveyor pipeline starts from the Kilia end structure. A filtration and algae remover plant designed to clear the water before entering the twin pipeline, alternating between GRP and steel, with a diameter of 1.7 meter, which decreases along the project till it reaches 1.4 meter single pipes at Chakra, passing by Hula. The main conveyor is 44 kilometers long. pipeline construction process activity consists of excavation, placing bedding material, laying pipes, executing water tests, and then backfilling. All activities shall go in successive sequence with no delay, so resources shall be available on time. Another difficulty was the long stretch of 96 kilometer pipelines, including secondary pipelines. Equipment shall be moved daily, storages and workshops were moved, and remobilized every month. A very dynamic construction setup. Only prudent project management strategies can plan and control it. The expropriated boundaries for installation were another challenge, as these are very limited in width. So pipe installation in the trench is not easy. GRP pipes. A flexible, easy to handle type of pipes with only a drawback, which is the need for the implementation of special precautions during the execution of such delicate material. MAC has utilized three teams to execute the GRP works on schedule. The 1.7 meter diameter GRP pipes was a real challenge in handling and entrenching. The process also became more challenging due to the slopes which required the execution of thrust blocks. MAC designed and executed 300 thrust blocks along the way to support the sloped lines. On the other hand, the execution of steel pipes, although more rigid, depends on the quality and speed of welding, which is why it is executed by an automatic welding system for time saving and quality assurance. The main conveyor ends at two consecutive hydraulic tunnels that go beneath the Markaba Heights. The two tunnels, Markaba Tunnel 1 and 2, are 2.2 meter in diameter, with lengths 520 meters and 680 meters from that point. A secondary conveyor branches to Selm and Shtrifa. Another branch continues to Yarin, passing by Bintishbeil, where two branches bifurcate. The first one is from Benteshbeil to Aitashab through Itiri Tunnel, which is 2 kilometers in length and 2.1 meter diameter underneath the Tiri Heights, to end up in Yarin village where the project ends. The second branch supplies Benteshbeil through a series of three pumping stations. The secondary conveyors with a total length of 52 kilometers, single pipelines, GRP steel, ductile iron, take off at 20 locations from the main conveyor, with diameters ranging between 0.3 meter to 0.9 meter. In addition, each secondary conveyor delivers water to a reservoir strategically located along the way of the conveyor. The 20 reservoirs have a water storage capacity of 160,000 cubic meters. Mac faced the challenge of executing the secondary conveyors through public roads. The road closure to traffic cannot extend beyond four days, during which MAC planned temporary bypasses for traffic circulation and underground utilities when encountered. Along the pipelines, regulating and controlling structures are constructed. 
124 air valves chambers, 92 washout chambers, 13 offtakes, 3 overspeed valves, 2 non-return valve chambers, 8 isolation valves. Every structure houses a certain type and different grade for the same type of valves. A total of 242 large chambers. Reservoir features. Optimizing between the cost, topography, and the storage capacity, there are 13 concrete reservoirs and seven earth embankment reservoirs. All reservoirs have flow control valves at their inlets and isolation at the outlets, as well as a substation PLC room that is linked back via fiber optic cables to the Headworks Central Control Station. 13 reservoirs are concrete structures and have a storage capacity up to 69,780 cubic meters. In addition, all reservoirs have valve chambers and generator and control houses. For construction purposes, an advanced formwork system was used to cast the huge reservoir walls and slabs. Formwork that can bear the casting loads and that can be erected and removed quickly. As for the seven earth embankment reservoirs, their total storage capacity reaches around 90,840 cubic meters and they include floors with lining membranes and are covered by floating covers. The materials used for the embankment were selected and imported from all over Lebanon. Beside the tunnels, canals, pipes, and reservoirs, four pumping stations are constructed to lift water to Bentishvale Hills. One of them is located in Chakra, and three of them on the way to Bentishvale, with capacities from 60 to 160 cubic meters, including two brake pressure tanks to reduce the pressure, and two others to ensure balancing of the flow in an automated sequence to optimize the pumping time, thus reducing the operation cost. This is the dream project, which is this close to being achieved. A sustainable project that provides water to tens of villages, crossing valleys and mountains, passing through the earth depths and moving on its surface by the mighty gravitational potential. Upon completion, this project will enhance the agricultural development and will provide rural employment, which will motivate the people to stay in their homelands a project that would build a green future where man tamed nature, yet totally sustained it for future generations. This is a political project, and a political project for the Arabic country. The area is a place for the water, وتغذية المناطق الجديدة هو بمثابة تغيير مسار أو جزء من من نهر إلى مناطق لم يصلها المياه فنهر الليطاني يعتبر أطول نهر في لبنان كمية كبيرة من المياه تنزل إلى البحر جزء منه هو تغيير مسار تغيير مسار يعني بمعنى الكلمة تغيير مسار خط الليطاني ليتوجه اتجاه مخالف للطبيعة وتغذية مناطق لم تصلها المياه